former minister of works, Adeseyi Ogulewi, says the Southeast cannot produce the next Nigerian's president because they are disunited. According to him, there is no better candidate to lead the country in 2023 than the former Lagos state governor, Bola Tinubu. A statement strongly countered by Bode George, a member of the People's Democratic Party's Board of Trustees, who was also on the show. He claimed that the absence of common leadership and lack of cohesion would work against any Southeast presidential candidate. He said, another set of people that are appropriate, they are the people from the Southeast, but they have the problem of leadership. They are so endowed that they are spread all over Nigeria and they can gather a lot of votes, but they are too divided. An Imo person, an Enugu person, and a bony man will not listen to themselves. They have the money. If they sit down and aggregate what they can offer, they have much money than almost everybody in Nigeria. But have you seen one person from the Southeast that said, I am interested in the presidency. I will start to campaign all over Nigeria immediately. Raise money for me and influence the structure of the party. Record that Legit NG reported that if the Southeast region is the advice of the former Anambra State Governor Peter Obi, the idea of an Igbo presidency in 2023 might just become a reality. The vice presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, on Monday, August 9th, reviewed that the region needs to present a convincing argument to Nigeria as to why it has to be them that should produce the next president. Speaking in an interview on Arise TV, Obi stated that the Igbos had compelling reasons to want to produce the country's next president in 2023. The former governor, according to Sahara reporters, went on to note that the Southeast must, however, embrace the politics of engagement and consultation and not confrontation. Meanwhile, earlier before now, Sheu Sani, a, a former lawmaker who represented Kano Central, advised politicians in the Southeast to build bridges of cordial relationship to the North if they hope to get the presidency. In a video shared via Facebook, Sani explained that this will also work for the region economically and socially as many Igbos reside in the North. Sani, who is also very activist, social critics and commentator, shared these thoughts during an interview with BBC Igbo. Another governor in the North, Governor Erufa, discloses what the Southeast would do to win 2023 presidency. He advised the Southeast regions to aspire for the presidency through a political processes rather than resorting to trade. Erufai gave the advice on Wednesday, May 6, at a, a web banner organized by the African Leadership Group. The governor explained that politics has to do with negotiations and convincing others to vote for you. Please tell them you are right. So we don't want your presidency. We want Biafra. Is a country like Nigeria that someone with no common sense will be made a minister and when he comments, one will easily identify it. There is unity in Nigeria. Talk less of a region. <laughs> someone said, yeah, this man is talking nonsense. So is your family united coming to talk of the Southeasterners and all that? The next president is going to come from the Southeast, whether you people like it or not. The worst thing anybody will do to Nigeria is to present Bola Tinubu as the next president of Nigeria. These people, they are closer to their grave. The best thing they should do for them is for them to retire and rest.
All right, another person said, yeah, the Southeasterners are not serious about the presidency. If they are, they know the, 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 right thing, the right thing to do, not by threatening everybody in the country. To get a president is not by threat. You need to work for it. Anyway, the numbers, votes is about numbers and majority wins the vote. So if the Northerners win the vote, so be it. Someone just dropped that. All right, someone said, yeah, hmm. we all know your plans. You guys will rig it because you think that the country belongs to the Northerners. The Fulani has finally conquered the Awisa people, and now they are trying to conquer the Southerners, and this will not happen. For goodness sake, we are not even talking about the presidency. All we want is Biafra Nation. Ask your Fulani president, <laughs> and your Amajiri elder brother to conduct a referendum, and that is the only way things can work out in this country. All right, someone said, yeah, <laughs> I pity all these leaders in this country because it seems that they don't know what they are doing. So, guys, this is Nigerians' reaction. The Southeast region has been accused of disunity by a former Nigerian minister, Adesei Ogulewi. According to the former minister, as a result of the disunity, the region cannot produce the next president of the country. And he said, going forward, going forward Ogulewi blamed this on the absence of common leadership and lack of cohesion in the Southeasterners. So guys, you've all heard it now. What do you have to say on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly hit the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much for always coming out here. I really do appreciate. Bye for now.